my lovers libra nation and their lovers welcome to your july 2020 astrological sign update now remember when you're watching these readings for love you're not just going to watch your sun sign you're going to watch your moon your venus and your rising sign and then you're going to watch then you will watch your person's placement in those areas because when it comes to soul connections the energies can be flipped okay um yeah that's it <laughs> okay and also if you see a title that just kind of calls to you that's your spirit guys trying to give you some additional messages okay all right so we're gonna go into my divine counterpart and separation deck and we're gonna ask their higher self um what is the most important thing that your person wants you to know right now what's the most important thing that your person wants you to know right now we're gonna get two cards two themes okay we have abundance and listen you guys might need to watch the leo reading because this was one of the cards that came out um from the higher self as soon as we um shuffled so for some of you you have to watch the leo reading and then we have ready to take a chance so that is um the fool's energy so let us see what they want to tell you about that so it could be that your person's working on their abundance right now although it came out as a different message um, in the leo reading so we're just going to clarify and see what is the message their higher self wants you to know about abundance right now i see underneath the deck is the um ace of pentacles in reverse so it could be some kind of monetary issue all right so let's whoa okay okay so what i'm seeing here is um we have the queen of swords that's libra that's you libra and then we have the seven of wands that's them fighting for you libra <laughs> okay <laughs> or they may have um laid a boundary um against you libra but it looks like they're in a fighting mood and then we have the queen of wands And then underneath we, the deck, we do have abandonment issues. Five of Pentacles in reverse. That's my abandonment issues card. So this is what I'm getting, Libra. Let me tell you. I'm getting that right now. Your person is focusing on their abundance. Okay. I think they see you as having set a boundary. You've spoken your truth. But they're very much drawn to you because you're very sexy um, very passionate they see us very connected to spirit you're willing to take a risk you're a go-getter they're loving these energies but i think this person is defensive against you libra because they have abandonment issues mm -hmm. that's what i'm getting that is what i'm getting they are really drawn to you they may even see you as abundance they may have you know um change their perspective in terms of how they look at abundance okay maybe they were very much um attached to the material world they saw that as their stability but now they're changing their perspective as to what abundance truly means and it looks like they're very they're very drawn to you they want to take action but they're feeling really defensive because of their abandonment issues mm-hmm so maybe to drown out all the noise of their feelings, this person's burying themselves in their work. That's what I'm getting. I mean, you interpret it um, how, how, whichever way, whichever way you want to. Because remember, um, there are two readers when we're doing readings. There's me and then there's you. You're going to get your own message, okay? Let's see this ready to take a chance. This is the fool's energy. <clears throat> it could be that they're taking a chance with their abundance. Maybe they're going into some kind of new investment or some kind of entrepreneurial path there's some there's some kind of risk they want to take let's see whoa yeah they want to take a chance on the empress here look mm-hmm yeah you know what um they had some kind of tall moment they want to take a chance on the empress let's see yeah i think this person they might have been incredibly manipulative in the past and they didn't use their their skills their powers um to manifest anything with you 
They were trying to control the situation because of their abandonment issues. But now, they're realizing that you are the Ten of Pentacles. I'm also getting as well um, that they might be with a third party who is incredibly manipulative and they're trying to end that cycle right now. Could be a mother figure in their life. Could be a mother figure, right? They could have manipulative um, family members, okay? And they understand that in order to get themselves back into balance, they have to be that queen of sorts energy and set some boundaries here, okay? So your person is following their intuition. There's some big cycles that they are closing off um, with the people in their life, okay? I think they might have been very passive in the past, not stepping into their power, look them here, not stepping into their power, but it looks like they're laying down some boundaries, all right? So that's what they want you to know. So they're, they're preparing to take a leap of faith here. Okay, and it looks like they're laying down some boundaries with the people in their life. Let's go into their emotional body. Let's see what's going on there. Not necessarily related to you. We were just looking at how they're feeling because that's going to tell us a story of what's happening in their life right now. This is my emotional intelligence deck. So let's see what's happening. Let's get three cards. All right. Listen, first card that came out for the Leo reading was this. So some of you definitely have to go and watch that Leo reading. The energies are just too similar. We have yearning. Um, this person is really missing you. Okay. So we have in love, we have yearning. And we have obsessed. Not so good. <laughs> Not so good right there. Okay. Yeah, they're having tall moments. Tall moment upon tall moment right now. What the hell? All right. So let's pull some cards. And let's see what's going on here, Libra. All right. Spirit, tell us what this in love card is all about. All right. So look, we have here a karmic energy. Let me pull some other cards and let's see what is, what is going on. Okay, got it. I got the message. All right. So what they're telling me is this. Your person um, got with some kind of karmic. It's either they got with some kind of karmic or they didn't show you their emotions. They were in love and they didn't show you their emotions because this person has a lot of insecurities. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of insecurities. They are afraid of rejection. They're afraid of abandonment. We pick that up right off and we're getting the confirmation again. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of abandonment. Um, but now they want to be single in order to pursue um, these emotions that they feel for you inside. But as much as they want to do that, look, the abandonment issues keep cropping up again. Okay. So this person, it looks like when you guys were together, um, they were definitely in love. They were feeling you. Okay, but they may have chose to go in a different direction because of their own insecurities and abandonment issues. But they're learning to love themselves right now. And they're healing that and it looks like they're ready to be single so that they, they can come and manifest this love um, with you. We keep getting confirmation with those um, text messages. So maybe they want to contact you. Um, they're yearning. They're really missing you. Look, right? They're missing you. I think this person may have deceived you in the past. And they were deceiving themselves. They didn't want to face their emotions. They didn't want to be connected to you like that. Okay? So they might have chose a path that did not include love. Okay? But then they had a tower moment. Look at the tower here. Right? And they're realizing now this is real love. This is true love. So they want to follow their intuition. Mm-hmm. They're absolutely obsessed with you. They're absolutely obsessed. So we're seeing both sides of the coin right now. Okay? We have obsession. We have love. They're absolutely obsessed, right? They're very unbalanced here. I also think that they're trying to wiggle themselves out of some kind of toxic situation. Now, it could be some kind of addiction, okay? Maybe that's what this obsession is about. There's some kind of addiction that they have, but they're walking away from that. They want you to know that. They're walking away from that, and they want to come and express their love, their emotions, make an apology, and make things right. Look, we have the justice card here. 
Alrighty. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into um, the Kipper deck. And we're going to go deeper into what's happening in their life right now. Let's see what's causing um, all these changes. Let's see what's happening. see what's happening here all right we have pathway and it's a card number eight so they're getting the strength to walk a particular car walk a particular path and this is the path of transformation the amount of butterflies um, that are here it's a part of enlightenment illumination all right so it's look like they're having a course correction right now we have the lovers so your person's facing a choice do they stay in a toxic situation because card number 15 is the devil or they choose love because card number 15 also reduced to six which is the lovers so spirit is here look at these doves and doves represent the holy spirit spirit is here trying to get this person to choose the highest version of themselves um, but it looks like that's the path that they have to to get the courage to walk right now let's get another card so they, they, they're, they're making a choice and then we have a child here okay now card number 18 is about the moon so it could be inner child work or maybe there's some secret because the moon is about secrets there's some secret about a child um, that is being revealed so let me clarify and see what this is all about let's see this pathway they're on their own spiritual journey right now spirit is calling them for deep introspection and they have answered that call so they're on their own journey of enlightenment and spiritual discovery and this is leading to transformation yeah i think they're still overthinking okay or maybe this is a reason why they're not bringing some kind of offer to you for some of you guys you guys might be dealing um with a virgo or maybe um you guys are a cusper or something like that okay but this person they're not making any offers to anyone right now because they are transforming okay so we're picking up on someone who's in hermit mode um and they're not making any offers to anyone they are transforming let's see these love these lovers here what's this about all right so your person i think they want to close off some kind of burn some cycle but there's some duties and responsibilities that they feel that like they can't walk away from right now so it could be that they have a family it could be that there's children involved here and they just can't ups and walk away okay but it looks like they're going to be speaking their truth because um they want a brand new beginning in love okay this person is transforming and they want their life um to transform um as well so it looks like they're releasing some kind of karmic okay so there's some kind of karmic in their life whether it is their mother or a karmic partner or karmic family members um your person speaking their truth and walking away okay they're walking away we have the ten of pentacles in reverse which is a divorce card or breakup card let's see this child what's happening with this child what's this about yeah your person feels stuck because there could be a child involved here now this could be the inner child wounding because this card is about being stuck in programming okay so it could be the inner child wounding that has them stuck let's pull another card and this is a cycle that they want to close out yeah i see your person at a crossroads here mm-hmm they're realizing that their childhood programming or childhood wounding is what created this player energy that they may have been in in and out of your life can't commit um commitment phobic and it's really frustrating to them because they do feel this pull towards you 
but their programming, the way they think about themselves, they think, the way they think about the, the world, the way they think about love and relationships um, has them very stuck. <clears throat> so I see a person doing a lot of shadow work right now. Trying to figure out, you know, what is real and what's illusion. That's what I'm getting with this. All right, so let's go into um, their mental space. What are they thinking about you and this connection? I'll be using Dame Darcy's Mermaid Tarot. And let's have a look at what they're thinking about you or the connection. And or. Alrighty. Underneath the deck, the tower. Right? So they're having some massive tower moments right now. So let's see what's going on. When this person thinks about you and this connection, um, where's their head at? Wow. Okay, so we have, well, I leave these in, and usually this is my, my creator card or abundance card. And this is like the Empress energy because the Empress creates. Um, we have the Three of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, we have the Emperor in reverse, um, Aries and Taurus energy. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay, what's happening here? All right, well, the first thing is, um, your person sees you as the Empress, okay? They do. Um, they see you as this master creator. Anything that you touch turns into gold. You can make anything grow. This is how they see you. And they see um, the magic that you're doing with your life. Um, they're unhappy. They're with a third party who is very controlling and very domineering. And they're absolutely bored with their life. They don't even know what their purpose is. They don't even know why they're in the particular relationship that they're in. They just seem bored with life. And this could also be a card um, of depression where nothing really sparks um, that, that energy, that flow of energy, okay? It looks like whoever they're with has killed their spirit. Whoever they're with has killed their spirit. That's what I'm getting. Three of cups in reverse, four of cups. This person is broken. Let's pull a card on this creator card. Your person is broken. Okay. I think they may not have gone your way in the past because they were afraid that people would judge them. They were afraid of the judgment of others. They were more interested in what people um, would think than their own happiness. Okay. Um, they are seeing you, seeing that they, they, they misjudged you. They misjudge you. Um, they're seeing absolute, how absolutely stable and abundant you are now. You, you, you're standing on your own whilst it looks like they're in some kind of codependent energy okay and um, they want to fight for this connection here they do they want to fight for this connection but there's a lot of anxiety that they feel for some of them they definitely will be they, they looks like they're depressed okay um but they want to take action they do want to fight um for this connection here because and fight for themselves too because they're not happy they're not happy we have the three of cups in reverse and they know that to be happy um, they need to speak their truth to everyone and cut the people out of their life that they need to cut out. So any third party that they might have, um, they need to release that. Yes, they are in charge of creating their own destiny. Okay. And they need to do that by speaking truth. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles, right? So they want to release this third party here and step into a new beginning. Okay. We have this Emperor in Reverse. Yep. So there's someone in their life incredibly domineering and controlling. Um, and this person is only interested in your person for the monetary benefits. And they're realizing that now. And that's why your person wants to be single. They're bored. Look, we have the four of cups. Absolutely bored. Okay. Um, they want to move towards um, their high priestess. They might not even be speaking to the person that they're with right now. Okay. Um, there could be words that are being said that are, that's quite abusive. We have this page of swords in reverse. A lot of childish communication that's happening here. And your person's realizing this ain't love. This is not what love is supposed to feel like. Um, and they're having a tall moment. Your person completely heartbroken. Completely heartbroken. 
all right so what we're going to do um if this is resonating with you join me in the extended we're going to look at this person's heart space energy from for you we're going to look at what this person might be hiding um from you we're going to look at blockages in this relationship we're going to get some messages from their 3d self messages from their 5d self potential actions towards you by the end of the month and we're going to get some advice um from spirit for you okay all right so if you can't join me in extended thank you so much for tuning in please like share subscribe make a comment down below and if you could go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading that's beautiful energy exchange for me okay all right guys thank you so much take care bye